A stern warning from fire officials tonight to drivers after multiple motorists drove over active fire lines during an emergency over the weekend. Our Michelle Heron joins us now in the studio with more on what prompted this message. Michelle. Yeah, hey Cindy, I'm told this type of thing can sometimes happen on the scene of a fire, but over the weekend, five people drove over fire lines, putting lives, property and equipment at risk. These charred remains are what's left of a home on Birchwood Pike. It went up in flames over the weekend from a blanket laying too close to a space heater. No one was hurt in the fire, but it's what happened feet away from the scene that Hamilton County Office of Emergency Management Public Information Officer Amy Maxwell says put several lives at risk. They had at least five motorists that drove over their fire hose uh, during this fully involved house fire. Maxwell says fire hydrants are spaced further apart in this rural area of town, meaning fire hoses had to be stretched across several streets so crews could fight the flames. I mean, you take a chance of not only damaging the hose lines, but you're talking about denting the couplings. Those are the connectors that go to when you connect to each hose line. You can dent those. Um, internal damage to the fire pumps. It can cost a department hundreds of unbudgeted dollars, replacing damaged equipment and put property and lives at risk. Y'all see the hose? This isn't the first time Channel 3 has reported on something like this happening. In 2018, a truck driver was arrested after driving over an active fire hose. Maxwell says this can serve as a reminder to obey emergency vehicles and never drive over a fire line, whether it's active or not. It is an inconvenience, but when we're talking about people's lives are at stake or property, I mean, that's more important um, than anything else. Now, if caught doing this type of thing, someone can be charged with reckless endangerment or driving over a fire hose. Reporting in the studio, Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.